All right, so if you want to uh, use Amplitude 5 as a VST plugin in Cubase Elements 11, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, so you can play your guitar using uh, the effect you want in real time. And so first, uh, open up Cubase Elements 11, and we're going to go to Create Empty Track here and select your folder. I have it selected as Cubase Projects. And so what you first want to do is you want to hit this little plus button because we're going to add a track and we're going to select audio track here and I'm using a Focusrite uh, Scarlet Solo interface and it's defaulting to input one here but I actually have the guitar in input two and so I'm going to switch that to input two mono and then stereo out and then just go ahead and click add track and then um, over here is your inspector. If you want uh, to toggle between uh, the two different inspector views here, you just click anywhere in this little gray area here. And you can see it has your recording arm and, and some of this other stuff here, uh, your, your inputs and your outputs mono into. And uh, so uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, go over to inserts here, and you can see all these uh, uh, slots here. This is where we're going to choose our, our effects here. And uh, I just installed Cubase Elements 11, and I already had uh, Amplitude 5 installed on my PC, and it automatically recognized it uh, without me having to do anything in settings or, or anything in, in Cubase. And so just click on this little triangle here, and I went into like distortion here, and as you can see, Amplitude 5 is already populated as a VST plugin. So go ahead and double click on Amplitude, or single click on Amplitude 5. Uh, it's going to uh, load here. You can see the little loading wheel. I have to give it just a little bit of time. And so it's loading up Amplitude 5 here. Usually uh, upon loading Amplitude 5, it takes a few seconds to populate all your favorites. So I usually just give it a few seconds. And then I'm going to go over to... Uh, my folder here where all my presets are and click on that. That's still saying the browser uh, is being refreshed, so it's still loading up all my presets. I'll give it just a few more seconds. Click it again. Oh, there we go. All right, so I have my favorites here and I'm gonna pick uh, ZZ Top first album. And now whether it sounds like that to you guys, that'll be up for debate, I'm sure. <laughs> but for uh, demo purposes, who cares? And so uh, once you have it all uh, selected, which uh, uh, sound you're going to use, um, just go ahead and close out Amplitude here. And uh, now I am just speaking through my computer uh, microphone here, so you're not going to hear the high quality uh, uh, sound of, of the guitar. So it's going to sound like crap, so don't even uh, think that that's the way it's it's going to sound, obviously. Uh, those of you who use Amplitude know what it should sound like. And so here's your monitor button. Uh, so if you want to hear your guitar, go ahead and click your monitor button, and then I'll just play a little something. All right? And on my end, through my monitors, that's the sound that it's supposed to sound like. Probably sounds terrible to you guys, but... And so... Uh, let's say we want to record something. All you have to do is just hit record. All right. And so then all you have to do is if you want to export this as a wave or whatever else, MP3, whatever, uh, use your uh, uh, selector right here, your range selector, and just select the range of what you want to export here and go into... Uh, file here, export, audio mix down, and uh, these are the default settings since I just installed Cubase Elements 11. These are the defaults. I'm going to call this one guitar, and as you can see, it's uh, defaulting to wave 44.1, 32-bit float, stereo interleaved. Um, you can modify all these if you want. Uh, like on 32-bit flow, you can move it to 32, 24, 16, etc. And then all you have to do is hit Export Audio, and then it exports to your Cubase Projects folder in a folder that it creates called uh, Mixdown. And that's all you do.
All right, appreciate it. Thanks for watching.